Monday afternoon. Popped over to get some more time in the shop before I go down to Tennessee. Nice little cookie, a double stuff cookie. That's a thick boy. That is a, that is a big boy. It's a hired gun project we probably can't talk about, but a guy wants that to be the front of his bass drum. Yeah, it's gonna be, uh, dude wants a studio kit. He said he wanted it to look like a tree house. We got commissioned to make this weird kick drum front thing and a canister thrown that looks like a tree stump as opposed to this which is actually a tree stump canister thrown is just going to look like a tree stump yep should be pretty interesting and the maiden's been stripped down again bill's yep. going to put a snare bed in it yeah I, and i'm going to oil it i'm pretty convinced i actually i'm 100 percent certain at this point that the drum that this is a replica of absolutely had snares. I don't know if it was two strands or four strands, but it definitely had snares. And after talking with the client, explaining to them exactly what that was going to mean in terms of what this thing's going to sound like, uh, they opted for historical accuracy, which I think was the right choice. But the drum does not have snare beds. Now, I don't know the actual, like, historical accuracy of cutting snare beds. But in the interest of getting this to sound just a little bit more acceptable to modern ears, have be a little bit of a compromise. I'm going to give it a very shallow bed just to try and give it a little, little bit more articulation. We'll see how it goes. And I'm still trying to get it done so I can go play on the Mayflower too. Yeah. But might not hit that deadline. Gonna oil up the maiden. Eight foot oil. Meanwhile, trying to research ears from the drums of that period. Got uh, Tiffany and Percussion by Jeremy Montague, who was a really nice guy. He passed away a couple years ago. Uh, he reached out to me at one point and just sent me a copy of one of his books because he saw I was someone I was talking about on Facebook and he was like, oh, you're probably interested in this. That guy was really cool. I don't know if circular is the way to go. I don't really see a grain in that leather. I only worked that one summer in the rubber tub, so mm -hmm. I don't really have a lot of experience. <laughs> uh, it's gonna be the fiddly part. Oh, you're around the you're around the tax. <laughs> Facing history one drum at a time. You know that's right. Someday when we have a redesigned logo, maybe we can get some fancy yeah. service labels. Service levels? Service labels. <laughs> Shell repair, new hoops, uh, new rope, new ears, new snares, and an anchor. Uh, what else do we do? I rubbed her down like she was at Cuddles and Bubbles. Yeah. <laughs> New batter head. And the next guy come in there and just sand that right out. Yep. <laughs> Feels like I just did this. Doesn't matter how many times I make a cut like this, I always envision slicing every one of my fingers off. You know. Yeah, it's uh these things are I mean, this blade is dull as shit, but still, even so, I'm sure it would wreck my hand if I had the blade. These things are crazy. Oh Jesus. Setting the, the stage. This is the day that we stopped calling him Bill and started calling him Six. <laughs> Stumpy.
on a little tree right here. Boom. Next. Hey, we've only been saying we're gonna make a sled for snare beds for seven years. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we have. I mean, for these I don't mind so much. But it would be nice for the rope drums, especially if we're making like a whole drum line at once. It would be nice to get those standardized. For snares like this, I kind of don't mind that they all have a little bit of their own character. I think it's kind of cool. But, so you know, maybe one of these days we'll actually get around to it. That he swapped it. He went from three to five. Yeah. Changing it up. <laughs> yeah. It's true. And now he's at seven. I can't make up his mind. We're getting old and we're getting soft. Yeah. Because we're the box, box fan bandits these days. Feels good though. It's pretty cool grain. Mm. Then I'm going to cover it all up. Fabric. I know it really sucks. We did save two of them to clear coat, so all is not lost. Yeah, it kind of hurts my heart that we're doing that, but I don't know. Do what you gotta do. <laughs> I mean, technically. I mean, they are responding. I mean, I guess. I mean, if it was super muffled. But they apparently did not muffle drums back then. I don't know man. I don't know what it's supposed to sound like, but... With like, period instruments you never think of stuff being like cranked super tight. Yeah. I don't know if that's accurate or not, but... Chad Sexton didn't come over on the Mayflower, so. <laughs> 16. Nice. Right? Yeah, it should be plus 16. And then two more two. over there. Yeah. Next step would be to fill those voids. Yep. Tape. Brocade. We have enough hardware for six. More hardware showing up Thursday. Yeah, we could actually. My stretch goal is to have everything wrapped in silk and as much assembled as we have hardware for before Tennessee. But I don't know if it's going to happen. Yeah. And your parents are going to need to eat more Chinese food because we need more chopsticks. And this baby's ready for pickup. Yeah. Took us yeah. two weeks. We told him over a month. We banged it out in two weeks. Mainly because yeah. mainly because I couldn't keep my hands off it the first day. and. Yeah, it was way Took more it apart fun than cleaned it up. anything else we were working on. I'm happy with it though, man. I think it turned out great. 
It was a night and day improvement from when it showed up here. Let's see if I can bend it real quick. Whoa! Ooh, maybe I can just uh Oh, he's going to burn his nipple. Nice. Try explaining third degree burns on your nipple. <laughs> there we go. Like a lobster. Lobster. Sounds like a 1950s sci-fi like ray gun sound effect. All right, cameraman fail. I didn't get the bending, but he basically throws it in the vise, does a twist, and then a crimp on the end that the straps go within. And then these get sandblasted and powder coat, correct? Yep. And sometimes there's a couple of these I chewed up a little bit bending, so there'll be a little, of, you know, maybe a little cleanup. But for the most part, it's just that. These are solid brass or plated brass. They're solid. So tomorrow, sandblast powder coat. Maybe Mama Whitney will fill the voids on this. Maybe not. I don't know what my plans are. Probably day job suck fest.